When we kicked off the project, we appointed the mentors. They went to the schools and they came back after a few days and they say, but what is it that we need to do exactly? And we said to them, we don't know. Go and have a look what's wrong and, and try and fix that. And one of the things that we told them was to be patient and not to impose themselves. And the quality of mentors that we appointed was able to do exactly that, to have the, the patience and, uh, and the perseverance to just sit there and wait until the right opportunity was there to say, let me assist you with it. When you appoint your mentors, you need to look at their personality, not only at content knowledge or their ability to perform at a school level. If you've got somebody that's really an educator in, in, in his blood, such a person would, would be able to win the confidence of the teachers. The subject mentors, they try to close the gap, the content gap of the educators as they impart uh, uh, their subject knowledge to the learners, as well as they assist the HODs, the heads of departments, the HODs that we have, they do not have enough content knowledge of the subjects that they are heading. And that's where now these subject uh, mentors are, are assisting these schools. The subject mentors, they work closely with the school management teams. They mentor the content knowledge and the content delivery of the educators. By being at the school every week, um, they could assist them to, to be on time with the pay setters. Um, after the, 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 the second term of the first year that we were um, involved in the schools, one of the HODs for mathematics at the one school said to me, it's the first time in the history of the school that they are up with the pay setters at this stage of the year. It has to do with their methodology in the classroom, the way they teach. We stress to them that we are there to help them and not to evaluate and to report them. And as the teachers get better, you, you, you play a much lesser role of coaching and, and much becomes a lot more uh, mentoring. This mentorship program is aimed at enhancing leadership skills of a principal as well as the school management team. Mostly we focus on the results of the learners uh, because it's, you know, our, uh, we want to ensure uh, improved performance. We want to make sure that it's sustainable because one of our main aims is effective management at the schools. There are some people who, who, who really are not up to it when, it, when uh, it comes to the whole idea of being mentored. And that is something that we are still struggling to make sure that everybody embraces that kind, that, that kind of a process. Make them feel that uh, this is actually a, a developmental process. I was glad that at least I have someone. When I'm having a problem, I know where to go and who to ask. I think I was lucky that you didn't see me as somebody who's going to police you. And we just have that relationship that learners can see. Asking one another is not a sign of weakness. Our main focus is the kids. You know, I always tell uh, people that if we do justice to these kids, other people are doing justice to our kids. It brings about innovation in teaching. It opens one up to new ideas. It opens the world for you. So I would definitely recommend that. Thank you.